Goo goo gabba gabba gee. Let's see what's going on in Niji Sanji. He doesn't have it. That being Niji Sanji English's Claude Clawmark and his YouTube silver play button. Claude showing off photos of that award from YouTube back on March 8th, stating not once but twice as after passing 100,000 subscribers after three months from his debut, Claude's subscriber count would fall under 100,000 and then rise above it once again with <laughs> not once but twice. <laughs> Claude in Japan sharing these photos, making some think that he had earned two play buttons for having passed that milestone twice. Claude later clarifying, hit twice, one button, meaning there is only one YouTube silver play button, and many surmising that these were simply photos from the Niji Sanji office. Given the gray cubicle walls, the white desk, and the fluorescent bulb reflection. This as no Niji Sanji liver has ever been on record saying they have received their silver or gold play buttons, instead stating that it is simply kept at the Niji Sanji headquarter offices. Despite many of these VTubers wishing they did receive one of their play buttons, and you Bro, and then the crazy part is, it's like, that's probably the reason why they probably keep the play buttons. It's like after they graduate or after they get terminated or whatever happens, yeah, they keep the play They have it on the wall. They ain't got to worry about it. It's like, yeah, you can't show this off or this can't be in the background or, or whatever. You can't be like, yeah, I'm, I'm Claude Caldmark. You know, I got terminated last week. This is the proof it's me. Boom. So YouTube offering for more than one play button to be ordered. That is evidenced here by Hall Live English's Fuwamoko showing off that they have received two play buttons as there are two talents behind that channel. Claude confirming that he has seen his play button in person, but it was left at the Niji Sanji office. Going on to set his chat for only those subscribed to him for two months or more. And further saying of the play buttons, if we really wanted one, we could just effing ask. That also, okay, I'm gonna be honest. I probably would have forgotten about the 100k like button had had it not been for Manesan either. <laughs> I kind of completely forgot about it until they messaged me being like, oh yeah, by the way, we- I ain't gonna lie. Is that indicative of you not caring about your sub count or is that because you just work so hard that you don't? You ordered this, it's coming soon. And I was like, what? <laughs> Cause you know, I kind of forget that that's how YouTube works. So then it, it, it showed up and I was like, Oh, dude cool and then and then when I, I saw it in person i was like oh my god yippee <laughs> and now now did you at least get to hold it did you at least get to take a picture of it first time i got my gold play button i was holding that thing up in my underwear in my front yard and i took a picture i was like yeah this is awesome now it's gonna stay at the office next to all the other really cool buttons which by the way i think shit. okay there, there are some people who are sitting here I, I i guess this is gonna be something to touch on just a little bit well, but I, I talked about this in like the membership post too uh spoilers by the way i guess you know i guess here's the thing i know there are some people who are being like oh my god how come how come the livers can't have their own button how come they can't take it home and it's like all right dog you know what if we really wanted one we could just fuck ask but what then ask let's see let's put this this little theory of yours to the test. Ask, the, ask for your play button. I mean, if you really want one, bro, you can honestly get one. I can give you the card that they send with the packaging. You just got to prove that you work at Needy Sanji and they'll probably charge you $100 just to get one. Whatever, man. You know, I think the bigger thing for me is that it's really f cool the fact that I even have a button to begin with. You know what I mean? Are you saying you wouldn't earn this button on your own? The only reason why you have this button is because you work at a corporation. Is that what you're saying? If I can even have a button, man, that's already cool enough. Second of all, second of all, I think it's all the more important the fact okay. that like, damn, I can have that next to next to the other cool people who also have the really cool button. And I was like, damn. Yeah, none of y'all can have y'all shit. That's crazy. I want that. You know what I mean? You want your stuff to have to be chilling with somebody else's stuff instead of it chilling at your own spot. Okay. Yeah, not us being like, bro, does he get two? Okay, in all fairness, I didn't make I, it was a, it was a joke because no, obviously we hit 100k twice, and I was like, <laughs> you know what I mean? I thought it was really funny at the time. It, it was 
it's, it's, it's more. I think it'd be really funny if you only hit it once and you never had to lose it and then and earn it again. Mostly just like you know, okay. There was there was one That's person who I saw, and and I'm not gonna call out names or anything like that. But there was one the one tweet that I saw, and it was like it was like you should let him take it home because it was his hard work. Blah 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 blah. And I was like, I was like, I don't want to, I don't, I want to reply to this on Twitter. But I was like, Ugh. It, it, it bothered me because th- this is the thing, me being here. And me being able to do the things that I do, and me being even being even be able to reach this yeah, size by grateful. I don't even think I would have hit 100k by myself at all. Straight from the horse's mouth. Straight from the horse's mouth. He doesn't think he could do it on his own, so that's why he joined. It is what it is. Like, let's be completely honest, right? I owe so so much be to yes. the other livers around me. Be grateful to yep. staff, yep. to Hello line. just the uh, you guys as well. Yeah, yeah. To the company that I'm a part of. Yeah, like yeah. when I Go say that this is all a control. cumulative effort of everybody, everything so far has been on the efforts of everybody of coming together yeah. to even make the, the things that I do a reality yeah. at all. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't give a f- but like. Dude, this is not just me. Every uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, sure. No, no, that's fine. It's okay because if more people are complicit, that makes it easier to control them. Of course. So yeah, you can total line, bro. Total company line. I'm sure they care about you. I'm I'm sure they love you for saying this too, bro. Like they definitely not gonna throw you under the bus or fuck you over as soon as you start thinking for yourself. Everybody has put in countless hours. Everybody has put in so much effort, so much work. All those hours and all that effort that could have went to your own brand. It could have went to your own brand. Instead, you gave it to a corporation that doesn't care about you. So much, so much of everything to yeah. just make any of this happen. Yeah. So I think everybody deserves a round to be of recognized. For oh, things okay, that good they job. Do. And that's why I will time and time and again always praise you know okay. the people behind me, the people who yeah. make sure the things that I do get done, make master. sure that I can sit here yeah. and say, yeah. "Hey, I'm going to turn on stream and I'm going to have a good time." No, no, because no, no. You're, it's not. It's not your choice. You have to turn on the stream. Don't 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 act like you have a choice. You turn on that stream because they told you to turn that stream on. And you got to do as many hours as they told you to do in your contract. Don't don't act like you got free will, buddy. You don't. There now there these are things that I can delegate. Things these are things that I can not have to worry about. These are things that I can handle and just do the things that I'm hired to do. And Yeah, with- yeah, you could just <laughs> shut up and dribble that, that was the saying when lebron started talking about some real life shit shut up and dribble just to be funny haha if it yeah, means he, he, being ha-ha. able That's to you. have he, he, my mark by being a button on the wall alongside so many other names which and, and which again is also an incredible f- honor by the way to even be amongst so many people who i've watched and looked up to and very very much so respected did you look up to selen did you did you respect pablo did you uh what else did he say? He said, look up. So many people who I've watched and... You watch, did you watch Yugo? Did you did you look up to Mr. Rias? Looked up to and very, very much so respected for so many years. Did you respect Kyo Kanako? It's an honor. And that is an honor that I will happily, happily accept. I don't know. Did you look up to Zion? I think, I think I'm always going to be grateful for this position that I am. And for be- you should be honestly, even though I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm messing around or whatever. You should be grateful because he said so himself. He would never make it if it wasn't for Niji Sanji or any other corporation to basically give him this position. He didn't earn it apparently. This is coming out of his mouth. He don't think he would make it. He don't think he's good enough. I would never be caught saying some shit like that, but to each their own. I guess humbleness, uh, you could call it humbleness, I guess. Do the job that I do now. That's what matters. That defense being picked up by Deserto in this article entitled Niji Sanji English VTuber Defends Controversial Play Button Policy. Noting earlier moments such as when Mr. Rias expressed frustration. Claude Clawmark. Bro, you looking like Claude 
Claw cut mark, motherfucker. ...that he had not received Claw his play mark. buttons, despite passing one million subscribers. Others on r slash Nijisanji remarking, so literally out of every person who has a play button, not a single person asked if they could exactly. have one. I refuse to believe exactly. that. Alongside, if that was the case, exactly, why bro. was Doki excited when she received her play button? Alongside, why do you have to ask for something you earned? That's a horrible Ooh. attitude to approach this problem with. True. Other users going on to provide video sources of various oh, Niji Sanji and ex Niji Sanji livers talking this. about their play buttons, they professing that they had never received one Trent. and that they are aware that they are kept at the office. Claude Claw Mark further proving that he is a team player. Having before being in Niji Sanji, being good friends with Uki Violetta and oh, Alira Pandora. Alira at this time having not streamed on her channel for five weeks now. That being since the infamous Black Screen stream, wherein she was also joined by Vox Akuma, who is now inching up to 90 days without having actually streamed a solo stream on his channel. Claude Clawmark also being a fan of Any Color Incorporated CEO Rico Tazumi, even including him in his debut as his Kami Oshi, as also yeah, including yeah. the Any Color CEO was Petra Gurren. This Niji Sanji English talent having performed her 3D debut this past weekend, and within the first three minutes of that stream, revealing Riku on screen and speaking, further including him in a large puppet form. Oh, so this is like a, an attempt to have the fans really rally behind the CEO. Oh, that, I mean, that makes sense. Look, you got him in a big stuff animal thingy so he like he looks adorable right next to petra's 3d debut that people were excited to see eh, it's a pretty good it's a pretty good uh strategy especially if it's true that like most of the viewers are just dumb teenagers anyway i'll take good care of you okay but like for now just hey! yeah <laughs> also yeah <laughs> bro, why the cameraman zoom in on that shit? <laughs> bro, that look like a Yakuza cutscene. <laughs> why are you Petra zoom in also on being joined it? on stream from other Niji Sanji talents such as Uki <laughs> and Alira. Alira yeah, later hilarious. going on to join Petra in 3D on stage. As also joining Petra would be numerous Yo. members of Niji Sanji Japan. Dobby, that Dobby. Japan presence Dobby, being Dobby. seen in the super chats for this stream, with over 71% of Coming the super chats the received being in Japanese yen. And in comparison to previous 3D debuts with Niji Sanji English, such as this one from Funana Riego, reflecting the most popular phrases from her chat in this word cloud, the results for Petra's stream are primarily in Japanese. <laughs> new, Petra's new. concurrent viewership <laughs> being lower than Funana's 3D debut, but still earning more in super chats, breaking in over 500,000 yen compared to Finana's over 400, but lower than Alira's 850,000 or Pomo's 1.5 million. Damn. As further along, we are looking back to Niji Sanji's parent company, Any Color. After releasing their quarter three fiscal report last Thursday, Any Color stock price would drop by 700 yen. Eventually, during the Monday stock exchange, hitting the memeable number of 2434, Any Color stock in the past two days rebounding by 200 yen, still down by 500 after those fiscal results. This further helped by the fact that a suspension of new sales and cash withdrawals was placed on that stock, thereby disallowing margin trading. As also with Niji Sanji, we have the Virtual Talent Academy. Over this weekend on their YouTube channel, removing all of their content, making nearly half a million views simply disappear. The Virtual Talent Academy generally removing content after one of their students has graduated or moved on. And as there are no current active students for this channel. That now brings us over to Niji Sanji Japan's latest wave debuted this past weekend. A three-man wave, two of which have been VTA graduates. While we also have Kaisei, this member hitting 100,000 subscribers within seven days and also receiving some pushback Earned from Niji Sanji viewers. As before joining Niji Sanji Japan, he had revealed that he had financially supported both Ozora Subaru and Usada Good. Pakora of Hall Live Japan, stating that he had sent over 6,000 US dollars to Usada Pakora in the form of Super Chats, as who is also a fan of Hall Live is Deer Skin, aka Deer Skin, a very good friend of Hall Live English's Deer Takanashi Kiara. Deer Skin tuning in for Takanashi Kiara's latest Twitter space. Kiara now talking about her 
pop-up parade figure saying, finally, Wawa Figma. This being one of numerous well, like, new Wigma. Good Smile products ah! shown over the weekend. Ah! Dear Skewn, remarking, it still feels so weird talking more openly about the things I like. Even though I still feel a little awkward and worried that people might see things the wrong way, it also feels really fun to finally express myself and post stuff. Then as she would further tweet out beforehand, the event I thought I got a ticket to, I also didn't win, so now I have zero plans for today. Many surmising that could have been for Hollow Fest. Dear Skewn later tweeting out next year Hollow Fest, as introducing us to that event is Hall Live English's Maury Calliope, stating it's finally time, let's capture our moment, cheer till you're dead. This major Hall Live event held this past weekend in Tokyo, involving an expo so enticing that even a fan with a broken leg would attend, as also occurring alongside the expo were multiple concerts. Two nights with four different performances, this event venue providing three simultaneous stages for viewers to see. That is unless you were behind Pop Maker, saying I'll be waving this massive myth banner if you Bruh. see it, that's me, then being Bruh. captured on camera saying Bruh. it was me, Beaches, down in front, as Bruh. hitting the stage where numerous Hall Live towns, including Maury Calliope, dead beats ready in the crowd, Let's with go. numerous moments from these concerts being memed on, such as here with Pippa getting what she deserves, Damn. or this connecting moment. That is seen by Hall Live English's Galgura also hitting the stage, and after sending out this tweet saying, busy, busy, I am visiting Taipei soon. Yay, what should I eat? What should I see? Gura then a half hour later tweeting out, ah, that was a scheduled tweet. You were supposed to see that a bit ago. Busy, busy, my mistake. So I'm actually in yeah, Taipei now. Tweets. But yes, please, give me your yummy food recommendations. Numerous users saying, Gura, thank you for coming to Taiwan. And also thank you for your autograph. That is part of the Sushiro iPass collaboration. This Yahoo News Taiwan article reading the iPass card hollow... Yahoo News? I didn't even know they still did that. Expo booth is very popular. Person in charge stating that the sales volume of the joint brand is the yeah. highest in history. This collaboration yeah. with Galgura proving to be very lucrative, surpassing even previous collaborations that Sushiro held, which include both Nijisanji and even Genshin Impact. Yes. As celebrating here was Avatar with that. Capture the Moment. We were showing off this photograph of one of her standees from Holofest and saying, it's shark time. I ran around signing everything I could. I hope you find them all. You were further seeing jailed away here in You're this Nendoroid display, while also on display was Gura's room, complete with a pair of her socks, a gaming chair with a hole for her tail, and an aquarium as flat as she is. Gura further showing off wow. this themed drink, saying I got to try the shark juice. It is seriously so good, and just how I always imagined it would taste, as Holofest featured numerous themed drinks and meals. Fuomoko seeing theirs and saying, would you be feeling very fluffy and fuzzy after drinking all of these? Holofest this weekend for the first time offering uh -huh. pre-orders on these meals with good numerous idea. Live talents showing off photos. That is a good, that is a great idea. Bro, why would I want to stand in line for 30 minutes? Yeah, have people pre-order food. Why haven't we been doing that? Actually, now that I think about it, Those of the as a society, pre-ordering food should be like something we do. Order. <laughs> you are here with guys like, to check out the instead of just reservations. You know how you gotta place a reservation and sit your ass at the restaurant. How about I place a like a reservation and I also say I want to pre-order this meal too. So it's like as soon as you sit down, like five minutes go by, the food already ready because they started making it. Like, as soon as you came into the door, they already knew. Hey, oh, this person's, okay, boom, let's go ahead and just start making it right now. The venue and eat the food with the others chose the smock one, idea. whereas Rubico would choose the Takane Rui Bento, and Sakura Miko would that choose her very sad. own Mi Comet burger. That complete with Suisei Hoshimachi sauce, that blue concoction turning out to be mayo. As before <gasps> the event, Hall Live would actually hold a stream just for this food, even during one of the expo streams showing off one of these meals, and to many viewers showing that there is a difference from the ideal and the reality. Bro, can we get some, can we get some sauce? Damn, the noodles look dry as hell, boy. Going from Shishiro Botan's burger to this user's burger. Damn, how fair is that, bro? Reality. Going from... Yeah, Botan, she get the best, she get the best burger, bro. She look like she got a Krabby Patty. Shishiro Botan's burger to this... What the fuck? User. What is this? This should... I should Lawsuit incoming, bro. It don't look like the picture. I hate that. I don't care if it's Hollow. I don't care if it's McDonald's. 
If you advertise your burger and it don't look like the picture, I'm mad immediately. Burger. We're going from the Hachima spider pancakes seen there on the bottom to whatever happened here. Man, what the fuck? These particular a rare hollow live L killer meals needing prep time due to their presentation. As one user would remark, food distribution at HollowFest is a disaster, saying they did pre-order their food at HollowFest, but when they went to go pick it up, the distribution was still 45 minutes behind, sending entire crowds hungry into the concert. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, you know what happens when they get hungry? They start eating each other. User after the concert saying, I've returned from the concert for the food, and I've been stuck in a queue for 35 minutes, Damn. still hungry and waiting. I regret ordering food. Bro, why didn't y'all just use Uber Eats? I feel like Uber Eats cheaper than this shit. For a place of Uber Eats, they'll be at the convention in like 25, 30 minutes. And then you eat outside. Other users remarking this food like years prior is cold. Like years prior and you you thought it was going to change, buddy? Bucko? No. It is given to them. No, Hollow Live has good entertainment. They got shit food. As after the first Remember day, that. Hollow Live would... You can't have one good without one bad. That's just how it works. That's, that's balance, baby. Send out this notice. And stating apology and notice regarding food and drink services as food and drink service is presently delayed. We and are very all. sorry for the inconvenience. For customers no longer interested in receiving their items, we can provide you a refund at a later time. Other users then going on to make staff appreciation posts showing off the arm of people needed to actually deliver this amount of food and w from that staff. same user that said but we need to hire more hire more more jobs in the economy we need more jobs like joe biden we got 13 million american jobs how many jobs we got in japan that food distribution at hollow fest is a disaster the next day they would stay cover fix the food court served in 9.16 minutes one user clarifying yesterday they allowed walk-in orders and did not limit how many people can order per person results such as one guy ordering 20 orders just for himself this next day they have pre-orders by the website and app only in limiting some amounts per person so the backlog got cleared up very fast. I mean, you gotta, you gotta honestly expect this, especially when they have a lot of gotcha in these tie-in deals when it comes to food, right? So of course, like I can't even get mad at the dude for ordering twenty things. But the sad reality, you guys put gotcha in your system. There are gonna be people who buy twenty things and they throw away half of it, right? And then other people go hungry because more people ordered like fifteen. Six mils, eight mils, 20 mils, four mils. It's just going to stack, bro. And like the the people in the back, they just going to get screwed. But hey, we got the gotcha though. Ass. We got the Numerous gotcha. other official viewing events around the world were held, including reports from one Korean screening that had to end 30 minutes early. That's right. Even as the concert was still going on, the venue would kick out the audience as they had allowed them to enter into the auditorium 30 minutes early. Meanwhile, we have so reactions on that early. first day's yeah. concert, including A-Chan here saying both are goats. Gura here being a part Goat. of one of the most iconic shots from the <laughs> entire event. <laughs> Super Chumbud Mitsu saying she captured our hearts and receiving <laughs> back this crying emoji face and blue heart from right, Gura. See, see, then see, as we move over girl. to another small and blue hollow live talent, it's Kobo Kanaru. This hollow live Indonesia talent also receiving a booth like Gura, showing off this photo and saying, I touched hey, the walls, I hugged chill. the pillows and unicorn. I played the guitar, I chill. sat on the floor, I sat on the chair, I touched the mouse, keyboard, violin curtains and everything Kara tweeting this out kfp how are you feeling today me and kobo gonna be the wow, cutest wow, on wow. stage wow. that all wall quick two second memeable videos of the concert were shown across social media kobo originally quote retweeting we got the two second clip of the cartwheel where's the two second clip of the plus falling on the ground this video from itori showing off her on stage cartwheel but then later kobo would go on to delete that reaction instead only keeping this one being compared to Inagami Korone saying, I'm the cheap version. I can't afford more. This likely due to this enforcement after the events by Hall Live, stating social media posting rules for Hall Live 5th Fest capture the moment. We kindly ask that you refrain from posting anything other than still images captured from the streaming screen. Your cooperation is appreciated. Thank you. Mm. 
I feel like we need to update this policy. Maybe allow them to cover five seconds of the expo, right? So, perfect example, Laplace Darkness falling on the ground. If you didn't see it, you missed it, right? Which is, it sucks, but I feel like this is literally a clip. Um, and if, you know, maybe it's not a legendary clip, you know, maybe it's because I'm biased because I like Laplace Darkness. But if you have a five second clip of a cute anime girl just falling on the ground, Sure, in context, it's hilarious. Out of context, it's still hilarious. So if you take this five-second clip and you throw it on TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, you would most likely gain more people because random people are going to see an anime girl fall and be like, yo, what the heck is this? Or, yo, this is crazy. Like, oh, damn, she fell. And then more people are going to meme on it. More people are going to add some edits. Hollow Live fans, of course, are going to add edits. And if those ad edits make it outside the Hollow slash V2 sphere, you end up creating more brand awareness. And with creating more brand awareness, more people are going to already have some type of image when they see the, the Hollow girls or they see any VTuber. Because it's like, oh, I remember I saw one of these trip on the stage. It was pretty funny. Oh, what are they doing on stage? They're having a concert. What do you mean they're having a concert? They're anime girls. They make music. What type of music? Oh, it's really good. Okay, let's see it. Wow, this is really good. Wow, this is cool. Wait, the one that fell, what's her name? The Plus Darkness. Does she make music? She does. Oh, let's just check it out. Wow, she's actually really good. You're saying there's a bunch of them. There's 20 of them? Wait, they all sing? They play games, too. What? Click, click, click. Rabbit hole. So I feel like we need to update this, man. If we're going to take over the world, can we be more effective? Like, I, I get it. Yeah, copyright infringement. We don't want people to upload, like, the full product online. Sure. But a five-second clip, ten-second clip, and, like, sure, you can say, oh, what if somebody has five and ten-second clips of the whole thing? Bro, if they have five, 10 second clips of the whole festival and somebody sit there and they watch the whole thing, then they're probably already a fan. And if they're a fan and they sat and watched five to 10 seconds of the entire festival, yeah, they saw it for free. But if they watched the entire thing, that means they enjoyed what they watched. That means the following year, they're more enticed to buy the product. So we need to think more long term, especially if we're going to take over the world which is what Hollow Live wants to do. If we're going to take over the entertainment sphere, we need to start thinking more ahead and less of right now copyright infringement. All live teaming up. Plus, China exists. Bro, there's probably some motherfucker that uploaded the whole thing on Billy Billy already anyway. What is this? What is this, man? Are we, pre we pretending we living in a world of, in age where people don't steal shit? Bro, back in my day, you wanted to watch a movie, you get a bootleg CD and some motherfucker was in there recording the whole thing. And it ain't going to change. What, you think? Because other people got ethics. You think everybody does? Incorrect. Wrong. Eh, wrong. Wrong. Eh. We need to start. We need to start innovating. Start improving. Start moving forward. Start. Stop staying stagnant. Up with copyright bullshit. Other producers like Bushi Road on the eventual Blu-ray releases of these concerts. Alongside other streaming platforms like E Plus and Spawn, numerous users going on to recommend Spawn over E Plus, Why? stating E Plus is considerably more expensive than Spawn, Word. is not available as a service hear. in most of the world. Okay, well then, okay, boom. And further stating Spawn, as usual, has an English language version of their sales page for Fifth Fest. There it's it is. cheaper and is usable worldwide. There it is. Restrictions. On you hear that? No restrictions worldwide. Yeah, bro. Like, yeah. Yeah. Why would I buy it on E+. Competition exists. Yeah. Location. As next, we have Hall Live Indonesia's Kyla Kowalskia. Seen here on the stage alongside the others in Hall Live Indonesia Gen 3. These stages sometimes offering beautiful video backgrounds cool. and sometimes simply not. What? As here now we have this clearly doctored photo from Sowen of the three performers. Christina Manzanita showing the off the this? raw photo, providing this blacksmith VTuber's true height. Kowalskia also showing Damn. off this photo. I knew she was a Jotunheim. And asking Koseki Biju to go. The two friends seen here in the middle of this official piece of merch. Koseki Biju responding, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me.
Give me, give me, ya, yeah, ya, yeah, cha, cha. Y'all know that song? Give me, give it, give me, give, I want it, that's give. And upon song. being sent this photo from M Chan saying, I feel like I'm being watched. Hall Live Indonesia talent responding, I'm going to take your standee back to Indonesia. Adios. And speaking of Biju, we have one of her popular cosplayers, Tao Tan. Now the cosplaying furthers Hall Live English's Hecos Bells. Seen here in her profile picture and banner, alongside numerous photos from the festival. These photos being being liked by the character illustrator of Hecos Bells, Mika Picasso. Tao Tan also being seen here in the crowd at one of the concerts. Bay herself hours before her performance tweeting out, I'm so nervous I can't sleep. And then eight hours later tweeting out, I didn't sleep. Later well, saying, yeah. I hope everyone has fun at the expo. Please drink lots of water and stay safe. Further sharing furiously practicing in the green room. That is this moment from Bay's interpretive dance sequence has now been memed nonstop. Auto Timu gets giving us this capture the moment rendition and Bay later reacting with, oh no. Then going on to embrace it saying, insert quote, do your worst. Kaseki Biju simply putting her name <laughs> as a quote. As <laughs> these <laughs> artists would also react alongside sharing this artwork that they left at the festival. That while numerous other Hall Live character illustrators would leave their mark. As seen here on one of the white wall displays, Fumoko character illustrator Ikomochi sharing their rendition of the twins alongside another white wall showcasing all of the autographs from the Hall Live talents. As on another wall, the Hall Live English girls would react to the question, what do you do on a rainy day? Hall of Promise member Iris going on to react with, I wanted to open my mouth and taste the rain until I learned that was unsanitary. Below stating, what the hell was I thinking when I wrote that? The Hall Live talents also having standees of their summertime outfits shown off throughout the expo. Iris writing, hi Iris, it's hard to write down here. As Ina's character illustrator would see her giving a wah, pop maker finding Ollie's and all of the music videos that she is recommending to stream. Oro Crony saying, signed a bunch, go look. As Cardboard Fauna would say, don't forget sunscreen. Her height on stage alongside Best Girl Robocosan and Minato Aqua, surprising some viewers. Fumoko also showing off their standees while writing. Let me hear your big bow bow. And Makoko <laughs> stating, let's have lots of fuzzy fun. Oh, Meanwhile, yeah. it was noticed that Narissa Ravencroft had signed- let's have a bunch of furry fun. <laughs> Yeah. And almost every related print she was on. Woo. As Pavolio Rainey would show this off, saying, Thank you, everyone, for the enthusiasm for Expo and Fest. I if see. you need an energy boost, maybe this picture will help. If it's spicy, just sip some tea. Others capturing what Ayundu Risu had written, such as No Beaver and pointing to her feet. And so that was the first day for the Fest. Mori Calliope saying, Thanks to Hall Live and my deadbeats, all of my dreams are coming true. Whereas Takanashi Kiara would remark, Many people said, Said I quote unquote served cunt. I shall add this to my vocabulary. Thanks, guys. You will regret it. Kiara herself later tweeting out in Japanese, I am ashamed. That's Hall of Japan's Kiyori would feature those tweets by Kiara on her news program. Fumoko having performed reaction streams for the first day and saying, Wow, stage two was so inspiring and very passionate too. It makes us imagine what it would be like if maybe we can run around on stage with our senpai one day. That leaves well, Fumoko. Like, also to share this Sobi artwork saying maybe next year will be Fuamoko and Hollow Advent's time to stand on the big stage with our senpai. Numerous other Hall Live towns sharing these high quality photos of the event one after another after another. The Hall Live Japan and Hall Live Indonesia Twitter accounts using this photo and the Hall Live Production English account using this fuzzier uh, photo. Uh, other users going on to point out the four person band that were performing live during this event and all oh. performing 105 songs Damn. the entire weekend. And further trying to combat the crowds, Hall Live events would tweet out to avoid overcrowding and congestion. Number of tickets will be distributed for using the cosplay changing area. Allocation of tickets Makes are different sense. for male and female changing areas, so please be careful. And to accommodate as many customers as possible, we ask for your cooperation in keeping your time in the changing room short. You know what they doing in the changing room. It's further covering day one with Holofest, we have our co-host Cody. Take it away. And oh, just like know. that, Holofest is over. But let's rewind time and have a look at some of the things the JP talent got up to. Prior to the expo going live, many of the talent were able to browse the show floor during rehearsals. Miko gave fans a sneak peek at the Mi Comet experience, showing off a Mi Comet burger. I'm going to order a burger now. Thank you.
with Sweet Sauce. Meanwhile, Shirakami Fubuki expressed her need for the new Suisei mic with a little doodle saying, I need it. Other talents such as Kanata let everyone know they've written little messages for fans to look out for. Kanata would later be caught out Whoa. by a fan for an edit she made on her standee. <laughs> but it wasn't just the JP talent that were on site. On Alive Indonesia's Irani Yo15 also left a lot of hidden messages everywhere. And Kayla made sure to let everyone know to keep away from Zeta. Other members oh, that made it to the venue were the Holostars. As Arurun took to social media to share his autographs alongside doodles by Miyabi and Gamma, while Gold Bullet and Crimson Ruse dubbed their conversations over the Holo Pro key art. The star's shenanigans continued on as it was later revealed the boys had a competition as to who could sign their signature at the highest point, with management stepping in and assisting Gerard Rexford with a ladder which was called out by the rest of the boys. Day one of the expo <laughs> saw masses of people lining up early. Despite the crazy. long lines, Holy some shit. fans were able to collect their wristbands in around 1.5 hours. There were also ah! some notable people patiently queuing up, such as the animator and illustrator Fua Fua, who was giving away free stickers to anyone that found them. And Umiboshi, the man behind the Sui Mochi vids, was also in attendance. As per tradition, Yago opened the festival with a Kagami Baraki, which was explained on the expo stream for the Kagai Nikis. Achan captured the moment before it happened, adding that Yago oh, yeah, looks nervous. Meanwhile, Robokusan, Azuki, and Watame took care of the virtual Kagami Baraki happening at the same time. Now, no expo is complete without booths, and the Super Expo had a lot of them. The Meiri Shirui team, responsible for the many alcohol collabs with Hololive talent, were in attendance, and had the Kagami Baraki barrel on display at their booth. The team used the expo to unveil their brand new collab with pirate Marine captain Hosho Marine. Marine's rum is a rum Caribbean guy. rum, aged in their sake breweries, with the team displaying the actual Good. barrels they'll be brewed in. Good Smiles booth featured many of the current and upcoming huh. figures of- uh I know she not selling hot dogs. <laughs> Available for the talent, oh, such as colored insane. versions of the upcoming Luna and Nene Nendoroids, Roboco's upcoming Relax Time figure, and dioramas of the cover office and Uzura police were on display. Additionally, a Hosho Marine concept room was available to check out, and it was based on the theme of living with figurines. My this as Marine's upcoming six. one seventh scale alternative outfit figure was also on display. Other first look figures include a Figma of Sakamata Chloe, a pop up parade figure of Laplace, as well as pop up parade prototypes of Noel and Suisse. Suisse had her own little area as part of the Zozo Town Cross Hololive collab booth, where the new 1 7th scale figure was on display, as well as a life sized version alongside the collab merch. More cultured fans ventured off to find the Suisse swimsuit standee, where she had written some More threatening culture. words to those wanting to take a photo. Other booths around the expo include the Furyu prize booth, where fans can view the various prizes that can That's be won cool in the arcades, Pandora. as well as an extra large Makora the plush. There was an Entergram booth. Okay, where it was announced that a new game featuring you know what now that i see that there's other things besides the concert i think i might go are you okay burn over there lighting the kitchen on fire large pecora plush i want to go to the arcade do they have any actual arcade games besides uh like claw game i think that shit's rigged can view the various prizes that can be won in the arcades, as well as an extra large Pecora plush. There was an Entergram booth. Yo, do they got basketball? If they got basketball, yo, I'm gonna be at the... I'm gonna challenge all of y'all. Whoever can beat me, uh, two out of three, in the, the basketball game, where you just shoot it and, like, it moves sometimes. I'll give you any plushie that you want at the convention. Where it was announced but that a new a game featuring no Aqua figurines. will start production. Yeah, Tower Records had a booth highlighting the Honeyworks collab, and fans could receive free Aki Rose cards at the Bushy Road booth. Bandai yeah, had a booth up. to show off all the toys Bandai? available for various candy collabs, Bandai and there was an area to check out Luna's that. Electone. And there was even an area to check out A Chan's buns at the membership booth. Also at the venue was a Mama and Papa's wall, where the Gotta illustrators of various talents signed and drew some pictures. This included Axel Sato, the 3D model for Azuki, Oshi Oshio, the illustrator for Konata, Shigure Ui, the character illustrator for Subaru, Tamari Mama, the illustrator for Botan, and P. Poco teaming up with Kazari Tayu for this Stars EN collab. For visitors of the expo, cool. a wall was made available for fans That's to write cool. messages on Hololive Doritos, where the manga artist for Ridos. Goblin Slayer left a little message Goblin for Fubuki. Kuroboshi, the character designer of Someone Ino, left a little Ino, and Kanauru asks, but why? But why? Moving but on why? to music, day one consisted of 
of stage one and stage two concerts with an afternoon and evening setup. The concert hall was huge, complete with lasers and pyrotechnics, and was arranged in a three stage setup with audience members facing one of the three stages. For bigger performances with multiple talent, different talent would appear on different stages, while each stage was duplicated for the performances where the talent could all fit on one stage. HN captured a few shots from the opening where all stage one talents sang Our Bright Parade, and the Hololive EN account attempted to keep everyone up to date with what songs were being performed, such as a mashup of Marine and Kanata's original songs. Other fun moments on the first day include some hip swaying from Choco and Aki Rose, and Coronet upgrading her cartwheel from last year's fest to an aerial cartwheel, where she later went on to tweet about the moment, saying, I worked hard on- Next year, need to do the aerial cartwheel into the splits. Yeah, that's gonna be crazy. My body for this day. That's this being be one of the moments my that was captured by many <laughs> and immortalized. Bro, that's one of the original memes. My body is ready. Let me know if you know where that's from and who said it. Art, such as this piece by Vino and Who this knows? animation comparison. Even False got involved, analyzing Hitbox. hitboxes and saying <laughs> Koro is too OP. Please nerf. Next up, we check out the Red Heart Akai Hato, who despite mentioning she was not going to attend Holofest, she was very excited for it to begin. Fans were Let's shocked, see, amazed, know. and extremely excited when Hachima made a surprise appearance, taking to the stage to perform Yasubi's Idol. She went on to say, thank you management for letting me make a surprise appearance, and I was happy to hear you all say, welcome back. Hachima later Later took to social media to say she's going on a little trip and will be back by April. Stage 2 had a performance from Zeta, Kayla and Kobo who performed for the first time at Holofest since their 3D reveals and Nene's performance of Gira Gira fan meeting had all of the fans dancing. 27 songs were sung during stage 1 and 28 during stage 2 with the set lists available on Spotify. But for now that's everything from me. Back over to you false. Thank you so much Cody. And that's Cody. just day 1. We'll be back with day Cody. 2 as soon as possible along with tons of other stories for this week as that is all for this episode as always feel free to like comment and subscribe below send in your vtuber news to our discord as we'll have more things vtubers say for you soon all right so my thoughts on today's news uh claude brother that copium when it runs out i hope you realize you're not in a good position that you think you are in uh petra Thank you for throwing that CEO on the ground. That was pretty funny. Let's watch yeah. it again. Just... <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Shout out to the cameraman for uh, keeping focus on it. Their stocks, um, we'll see how their stock, because stocks, like I said, the sink the yacht, I think it was surprising, but we'll see what happens in the next two to five years, because I mean, I'm telling you, stocks, they're not supposed to be something that you know, goes up super fast in like two or three months. I'm telling y'all, like stocks are supposed to take years. So we'll see what happens if uh, need you will be absorbed. Uh, VTA, I, w I wanted to say, I don't understand why they deleted the videos. They could, <laughs> excuse me, they could have just privated them. That's weird for you to just delete. Um, uh, thought I got 6K, damn. Ear skin, hollow fest. Yeah, hollow fest is like it's fun. I'm. I I hope you guys are having fun watching it. It's not really for me. Like I love watching like the videos and stuff, but like the actual festival, eh, it's not for me. It's for you guys, the super fans. So I'm a casual fan. I'm telling y'all, like I am a casual fan of this stuff. I like it when I'm around, just like watching it, and I get to watch clips. But yeah, I mean, I think it'd be cool to go. I definitely would go just to like try the arcade and like see the community but i wouldn't like th this big ass area full of people probably wouldn't catch me in here like i just i don't like large crowds like this like they just made me uncomfortable right as a veteran i just can't sit here and just see all these people um it is cool they do have multiple stages so that is actually really good and i hope more venues decide to do that and if anything um put like a a projector screen at the top so you can like look at it on the ceiling if you have like a shitty position in the middle. Uh, but yeah. Overall, great video. See you guys on the next one. Yeah, have a good day. Bow, 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 bow.